Okay, so this video is probably going to be a yap session, but I think I found the cure to anxiety in the Quran. And the thing is, Allah gives us the cure to pretty much every single disease and every single problem in our life. But it really comes down to us analyzing because the Quran has so many little tiny secrets that it really takes a long time to understand it fully. But anyways, the first thing you want to understand is what anxiety is actually. Now everyone suffers from anxiety, even if you're not like diagnosed with it, everyone has thoughts of anxiety. And that's because anxiety is basically just a worry about the future or the past. Let's say for example you have a test coming up and you don't know if you're going to do good on it, that's anxiety. Or maybe you're ruminating on the past and maybe a mistake you made on the past, that's also anxiety. But when you're in the present, when you're only focused on what you have to do now, you basically have no anxiety because you're eliminating the idea of worrying about the future or the past. And if you think about it, anxiety like this is not natural at all. I mean, just look at animals, for example. When an animal gets chased by another predator, it goes into like a stress mode. It gets stressed and it starts running away super fast and all the adrenaline starts going and all those other processes happen. But once it gets back to safety, it starts grazing and it pretty much doesn't care anymore. But this is different from us. We suffer from chronic stress. Even when no problems are happening in our life right now, we still think about them. We still worry about the future or worry about the past. So it's not really something that we should be doing. Like it's not natural. But there is a secret to stopping anxiety and Allah tells us this in the Quran. Because Allah guarantees our past and our future. Think about it. Allah already knows everything we're going to do and Allah already has written down everything. Allah says in Surah Talaq, And basically Allah after that says a bunch of other things that resonate this similar message. Allah basically says, whoever fears Allah or has taqwa of Allah, he will make for them a way and he will provide for them where they do not expect and whoever trusts Allah that he is sufficient for him. And then finally, Allah pretty much says that Allah has already ordained everything. Now, if you think about it, these verses are so powerful and honestly so freeing because you understand that whatever position you're in, even if you're in a bad position, even if you're in the worst position in the world, you don't have to worry because Allah already knows everything and Allah will make for you a way. Bro, even if you're five million dollars in debt, you know, whatever position you can think of, Allah says he will provide for them where they do not expect. And we understand from other verses that Allah has already ordained everything 50,000 years before creation. So now the question becomes like, why worry? Why even worry about the future? Why worry about the past? Because Allah has already set a plan for everything. Now this sounds all amazing and honestly it is, but there's only one caveat which is that this only applies to people who have taqwa and people who fear Allah, as Allah says in the beginning of the verse. So what is taqwa? Taqwa, basically on a surface level, means fear of Allah, but on a deeper level, it basically means God consciousness and being present with Allah in the present moment. Now look, your mind could be either thinking in one of three states. One, about the past. Two, about the future. Or, about the present. And being in the present is actually having taqwa. Because if you think about it, having taqwa is having God consciousness. When you're in the present moment, you're conscious of Allah and conscious of what's in front of you, right? Conscious of what you're doing right now. But when you're thinking about the future or you're thinking about the past, you're not in the present moment and therefore you're not fearing Allah in the, in the present moment. And you're not having God consciousness. So you're not going to have the benefits that someone who has taqwa has. So I know I talked a lot, but all I'm trying to say is that taqwa is the way you break anxiety. And at the end of the day, you should understand that whatever happens to you is Allah's plan. And the beautiful thing is Allah's plan is perfect, right? Because it's Allah, it's not a human's plan, it's Allah's plan. Which means that whatever happens to you is good for you. Literally anything. Even if you, for example, fail a really important test. Maybe it's a test that allows you to go to a certain school, or maybe you fail a job interview. Whatever bad thing you could think of, you have to understand that because Allah ordained it for you, it has to be good for you. Allah just knows things that you don't which means that he wants a path for you that you might not necessarily want. Now, honestly, this is so powerful because when you live like this, nothing can harm you. Nothing can make you sad. Nothing can make you depressed. And nothing especially can make you anxious. This is such a good way to live life. And honestly, I feel like every single Muslim should understand it. But people still struggle with this. And the main reason is because they lack faith. See, even if you fast the month of Ramadan, pray five times a day, go Jummah every single week, these are technically still external deeds that you're doing. And your internal beliefs is what really matters. Because that's where your iman comes from. That's where your faith comes from. If you don't truly have faith in Allah, and if you don't truly have tawakkul, which means trust in Allah, trust that Allah's plan is the best, then even if you pray like a thousand times a day, you're not really going to reap the benefits that someone who has taqwa has. And there was a story where the Prophet ﷺ sent a group of his sahaba to an Arab tribe. And basically in this Arab tribe, 
there was an individual who got stung by a scorpion. And of course, they wanted the Sahaba to try and help them. So one of the Sahaba just said Surah Fatiha over. And this is Ruqya, right? And it's a form of medicine. But all it took was just Surah Fatiha. And just Surah Fatiha alone cured that man's illness. Nowadays, we say Surah Fatiha five times a day and it doesn't have any effect on us. The reason why that man was able to cure the scorpion sting was because he had faith when he said Surah Fatiha. Faith allows you to do crazy things, like cure a whole illness just from that one surah, which unfortunately nowadays a lot of us lack faith, and so we can't do those same things. And a lot of times, this is the reason we have anxiety, and this is the reason why certain medicines that are prescribed by the Prophet ﷺ don't work. Like a zikr and ruqya, these things might not work because you don't have faith in them. So this is something that we should strive to attain. And honestly, this is something that is super difficult to attain. But if you could actually get to this level, then you won't even think about sadness or anxiety or depression. It's not even going to you know, process in your mind. And if you think about Ramadan, right? Ramadan, Allah says in the Quran that fasting was prescribed for you in order that you may gain taqwa. And if you think about it, in the month of Ramadan, of course you're fasting. But in the month of Ramadan, you're a lot more or you're a lot less anxious and you're a lot more at peace in your heart. And if you think about it, that all makes sense because... The more you fast, the more taqwa you have. And the more taqwa you have, the more present you're going to be. And the more taqwa you have, the less anxious you're going to be. Which is why you see in the month of Ramadan, you could ask yourself or any single Muslim that in the month of Ramadan, you're going to have a lot less anxiety and you're going to feel a lot more peaceful. So all of these things just come together. Finally, there's a dua that really helped me cure anxiety. and I'll show that on the screen. And not just for anxiety, but also for like productivity and laziness. It really helped me. So hopefully you can benefit from that. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to start making dua to Allah. Check out some clean Islamic streetwear in the description. Assalamu alaikum.